Hi, my name is Joar Jacobson and I work with uh, education and support and threat modeling using the SecureCAD tool. SecureCAD is using models uh, and then attack simulations are being run on them. Such models can be built manually or they can be built based on external data sources. In this screencast, I will start with a manually built uh, high level model and then I will use Nessus scanner data to populate it with additional information. After that, I will alter the Nessus data and then I will put it in again. That way, we will see that a new Nessus scan with new findings in it will update the existing model. In other words, we will have dynamic threat modeling based on repeated information collection. Different data sources provide different information. So, for instance, this Nessus scan that I will use, it will not provide information about how the different network zones are interconnected. Therefore, I would like to start with the high level example model that we have in SecureCAD. We have this community example model as CAD file. I open it and I see that this is uh, what we have seen in the community edition as the initial example as well. For instance, we have this network object here representing a network zone and we can see that it contains two hosts at the moment from the example. It is stage SRV1 and stage SRV2 coming from the example. That one is where we want to add our Nessus scanner data into. Importing external scanner data like Nessus uh, and merging them together with existing models is a SecureCAD Enterprise feature which is why I should log into the Enterprise Suite here. I enter my credentials here and I sign in and uh, don't need to save the password. And in here I have a project called Dynamic Threat Modeling. At the moment it is empty, but now we shall add models to put them together. So we start by clicking on Add Model and then we select this example model that we were looking at. Open that one and select add model. It is checking the validity of the model, which means that this model is technically complete enough to simulate. What we then do is that we click on add model again, and this time we select an a file called office scan nessus.xml and this is a nessus scan output file uh, which is not a secure can model file yet but we select that one and we go here and we select nessus we go add model and the model will be added but it has got a red cross here or a red x here which means that it is not possible to simulate this model right away because it's uh, not complete enough it is lacking uh, an attacker what i then want to do is to add the office scan nessus data to the community example model i will do that by selecting the office scan nessus and the community example model and then i will use the function merge here and then I will merge it and the output will be well some information about associations created and so on. I close that and I now see that I have something called here a merged model. Since I'm curious about what I got I can unselect this one and I can select the new one and I can download it which means that I can save this and I will have it over here. 
Then I can go back to Secure CAD again. I can go for Open. No, I don't want to save. I can go for Open and I can select the merged model with the latest timestamp here and I open it. As you see, we don't have any visible objects here immediately and that is because these kind of automatically merged models and so on they are actually mostly intended to be used by different APIs and by uh, automation. But in this case we want to check what we actually got so we add a new view here we go for network here and uh, we pick out this 192 network and add it here and this is the same network as we had before in the model but now we see that it says 16 here instead of 2 so I go here I can click on show connected objects I go for show hosts and here I see that I have a whole list of hosts and the lower two stage SRV1 and SRV2 are the ones that we added by hand while the others in the list are coming from the Nessus input. However the Nessus is not only a network scanner but it's also a vulnerability scanner of course and since I have been looking at the Nessus input data I know that in this host there is something that is vulnerable so I expand all the services here that have been found by Nessus and I select this particular service and here it says uh, if I select that one it says patched is set to the probability 0.0, .0 which means that Nessus has found that this particular service uh, is missing a crucial security patch. We can also see some additional information about uh, what uh, Nessus have found by checking the tags tab here and here we see that it's an IP number and it's a port but we also see the CVE number so Nessus has found that this particular service is prone to CVE-2011-3389 which is why the defense setting patched has been set automatically to zero. What we have done this far is that we have started with a high level manually created model and we have added scanner data to it. So in other words this model will be our baseline model for running simulations over time on our environment. Now to make this dynamic threat modeling we would like to see that this patched defense for instance will be updated to something else uh, preferably true if we add another Nessus scan or another set of Nessus data that has not got this vulnerability reported. So we first go to save as for this model we call it uh, base line model and save it. Then we go into Secure CAD Enterprise and we add model. We add our baseline model from here like that and we're done so far. We can also take the opportunity to remove the previous models that we were using so far. So what we want to see now is that a new Nessus scan where this vulnerability has not been detected or actually have been fixed since the last time we scanned uh, will update the model so that uh, that vulnerability is not uh, in the model anymore. And to test that I would open this Nessus scan XML file in a text editor 
I would search for this 168.1.203 IP number. So I see that I have a report host uh, tag here with information about this particular host. Then when I am at this position I would like to search for 2011-3389 which was the vulnerability number. So I find that one too here in a report item. So what I would then do is that I select this report item and then I remove it as if Nessus hadn't found it. So I delete this block and then I would save this Nessus XML as Office Scan Nexus XML second round like that. Or actually I need to rename it to Office Scan 2 instead because SecureCAD Enterprise is a little bit picky about file name extensions. Now going back to SecureCAD Enterprise we click on add model. We select the file that we have called Nessus Scan 2, Office Scan 2 and we open that one and we tell SecureCAD that this is a Nessus, it's a new one and we see that we have this office scan 2.nessus in here. Then we do like before, we select office scan 2.nessus, we select baseline model, we click on merge, and this time it is quite important that this nessus scan is on top because this will show the priority, which is the latest data that we want to, to listen to when putting these models together. And we click on merge and that will give us a new model. Yep, so we have some information about what happened. And we have this merged model that we didn't have before. So like before we can do select on this merged model, we can download it, save that one, and it goes into here. Then I can go to SecureCAD, I can open, and I took the opportunity to rename this merged model into merged model 2. And I open this one, and I create a new canvas here to see it. I extract or take out this network. It has still got 16 hosts in it. I select to show the hosts and then I am interested in what is the status of the services within host 203 here. So I select services and I select this Nginx 443 service and I check the fences and I see that it is still zero for the patched level. So it is still considered being unpatched. But we can take a look at the tags here and we see that we have a new CVE number, CVE 2016-6329. And that means that instead of the previous CVE number for the vulnerability that Nessus picked up, uh, there are several vulnerabilities to this service uh, at that will show up instead. So if we pretend that uh, this service has got no vulnerabilities, it is perfectly up to date, then we would edit our Nessus input data again and remove all vulnerabilities. So let's do that. We go to this text editor again, we search for 192 168.1.203 once more. We find this one and we want to check the service 443 with severity 2.
I remove all these 443 report items, uh, which the Nessus uh, content is called, uh, related to vulnerabilities for this uh, particular service, and I rename this one to Office Scan number 3, and I save it. Then I go back to SecureCAD Enterprise, I add model, when then I select Office Scan 3.nessus.xml. I open that one. I tell SecureCAD Enterprise that this is a Nessus scan. I add model. And what I can do then is I can take the baseline model and I merge it with the updated information that is in the Office Scan 3 example. Then I click on Merge. I make sure that this Office Scan 3 Nessus with the latest information is listed on top. And I click on Merge. And I will have a merged model. First a report on what happened. And then we have a new merged model over here. And we download it to check what's in there. I go back to SecureCAD, I open the merged model number 3, open that one, I open a new view here, I take out the uh, this network zone, I show the hosts, I go to 203, I show the services, I go to 443, and now I see that I don't have a CVE information here. And for the defenses, I can see that patched here is still set of probability, but the probability is 1.0, which means that this particular service uh, ha has not been prone to any vulnerabilities according to our input data. What we have actually done now is that we have seen that updated scanner information will update our existing model with the new information in from the scans. This process going back and forth between uh, SecureCAD Professional, SecureCAD Enterprise, uploading, downloading, checking, merging and so on. This is of course something that uh, you don't have to do every time you update your scan the data and feed it into your existing models. Instead it is something that I used to show the process behind the uh, dynamic threat modeling part of SecureCAD. When you will be using this for real, you will instead of these manual operations be using uh, APIs and an automated process for uploading models, merging models, running simulations and extracting the results. So this is just for showing uh, the process behind it. And this concludes my screencast on dynamic threat modeling using SecureCAD. I hope you could follow along the different steps and thank you for listening.